Actor Dan Brennan sure knows how to make an impression. You may remember him from such commercials as the Kmart series and the AT&T Rollover Minutes. I'm still playing. David, how did you get the cocoa so frothy? Isn't that great? An impressive presence on screen as well as in person, the Port Washington actor recently sat down with Patch to talk about his career in commercials and independent film. Well, I always had a passion for uh, acting, but I got married young and we had kids, so uh, I kind of put it aside for a long time because I wasn't really ready for it. Uh, and then we bought a house and our kids were born and uh, I said, okay, you know what, let me take a shot. And I tried out for movies uh, and, and, and all sorts of stuff, but the only thing I had any success with was television commercials. Brennan says he learned the secret of success for acting for him was just to be himself. And what I found out was the only thing you can make fun of in television is the idiot husband. And I was a perfect uh, idiot husband. So I wound up getting a lot of work doing that. First commercial I booked that was a really good commercial was for Wendy's. Uh, I played a, a goofy dad. It was for uh, chicken strips. And it's, it's a pretty funny spot. Uh, all these guys are coming to the door and I'm basically saying they can't date my daughter until one guy comes to the door with uh, Wendy's bacon chicken strips. And that really impresses me. So now, of course, you can date my daughter. And that was perfect for me because that's, that's who I was. So I was really just playing myself. I, I also did a, a really funny commercial uh, for Staples where I played, you know, the idiot executive. Um, I did a, a series of very funny ca Christmas spots for uh, Kmart, where I played the, um, the idiot father. I played a uh, over-enthusiastic Christmas caroling uh, idiot husband. In uh, Kmart commercial, I play an idiot father with a power drill. Isn't that great? In another Kmart commercial, I play the idiot father coming home with silly presents for my kids. They are huge in Sweden. Thanks, Dad. In the uh, Tyson chicken commercial, I play the idiot father that doesn't know how to cook. Mom, thanks for serving Tyson 100% all-natural chicken. It's raised without antibiotics. When you're at the helm, I know you care enough to feed us only the best. When you're not here, I make frozen waffles. He does. In the most popular commercial I've ever done, um, um, the AT&T Rollover Minutes, Dad, um, which those commercials kind of speak for themselves. Tea. Guess what happens to her old minutes? She loses them. She loses them. So I'm sure she'd be happy with those milky minutes. Isn't your sister lactose intolerant? <laughs> so after all these years of auditioning, uh, my kids would watch me and they'd say, Dad, we want to be in commercials. We want to be in commercials. So um, <clears throat> when it was possible, I would take them along with me when uh, I'd have to audition um, as a whole family. And then we got this audition for Verizon Fios. They cast me as the father, they cast my two kids as uh, my two daughters, and they cast my wife as my wife. Um, and I've had many TV wives, so it was fun to actually get to work with my own wife. And then they wound up shooting the commercial at our house, uh, you know, right here in Port Washington. So it was, it was really, really exciting. The commercial is we play a Verizon Fios family that's not happy with our cable service, and the Verizon Fios guy comes and solves all of our problems. And the commercial is basically us talking about the problems we're having um, with our cable and how um, uh, Verizon is, you know, a much better product. Well, as it turns out, um, we did switch over to Verizon um, just before we shot the commercial. And it is remarkable because Verizon actually uh, does give you really fantastic service. Uh, and I know this sounds like a commercial, but I assure you it isn't. Brennan also found success being himself on the silver screen as well. In 2009, he and his family started making independent movies. In their first film, The Video Guys, he portrays a wedding videographer. And everybody in the family worked on the movie. My wife produced it. I wrote it, directed, acted in it. Uh, my daughter, uh, Sabrina, was in it. She won a lot of awards. My daughter, Diana, was in it. Um, we got distribution for it, so we made another movie uh, called Maggie Marvel. Uh, of which my wife produced, um, I wrote and directed. Uh, my daughter Diana, this time my youngest daughter, she won uh, a number of awards for her acting. So um, that's kind of a fun side business to have. It's a very, very exciting time right now for independent filmmakers because for the first time independent filmmakers can sell their product online and you don't need a distribution company. So when you sell your movie in what they call digital downloads, 
um, you could you could make some money. I mean, you know, you're not going to be you know filthy rich, but you could make enough money to pay for another movie. Uh, and who knows? Maybe if the movie really hits it big, you can turn it into a to a living. But it's a fantastic experience for us as a family. It's a great experience for my daughters. It's given them uh, a tremendous amount of confidence, uh, and they continue to surprise me as they grow up because uh, I don't know where. Um, I don't know where either of my daughters learned to become uh, uh, great actors because neither of them are uh, an idiot father. So <laughs> I don't know where they learned it from. They, they probably learned it from their mom. She's the one that, uh, she's the real reason that any of us in our family are successful. Brennan says being an actor is fun, but is not as easy as it looks. He shared this advice for aspiring actors. If you want to be an actor, you need to go on hundreds and hundreds of auditions because that's what makes you better. Because when you're auditioning, you're, you're really acting at the highest level you can because you're trying to do your absolute best work. And that's what makes you a really good actor, not acting classes. But when you go on, on the auditions and you get the disappointment and, and, and you run into all that you know, adversity, uh, it really toughens you up. And that's what teaches you the business more than anything else. I learned how to be an actor from going on a lot of auditions. It's by no means an easy business. I would not recommend it to anybody uh, because you literally have to audition for 20 or 30 commercials for every one you book. And that's a lot of time because you gotta go all the way into Manhattan. It's like three hours round trip because you have to you know, do the audition. But my kids, like I said, they're, they're into it now. You know? So uh, I think that's gonna be the, uh, the family legacy. In Port Washington, Chris Kalora reporting.